commented to the comment on the comment papers. Uh, comment. <laughs> Number one, yeah, what uh, we as I said, they're not the most popular portfolio in the government uh, department of finance. <coughs> they're the tax collector. But the, the unknown, I'm not going to say that they're also popular, but the, the person, the portfolio who really allocates and divides the pie is the BDM. And we should have a common paper too from BDM. Because in this government, where, where BDM plays probably this pivotal role, uh, not many know knows that, huh? except the bureaucracy. Uh, but the reason I think the DOF is not as popular as the other department, let's say justice, or the popular man, yes, the reading, the OIG, okay, it's because I think the DOF, the Department of uh, Finance, has taken on a doctor no role. They say no to every proposal that will that will result even to a diminution of tax. But in the end we expand the tax rate. And that's my right and and calamity. I'm interested to it. Because I passed several key and I thought could uh, become turning points to uh, laws in this country, I passed the the, the para the private retirement fund where a person of let's say age of 38 can contribute to it voluntary basis and at age 56 that fund will build up but it's tax free. You know the tax without it it will reduce the tax uh, the tax rate. And also passed the RIT because the real estate investment trust. That would have liquefied, that would have put all the uh, all the money that is in that would have liquefied that would have put all the all the locked up asset of real estate in this country worth at least three billion US dollars that's locked up owned by the big landed and big business like the Ayala, the SN, the Robinson. But the ordinary uh, investor cannot access it. Because it's not registered uh, in the study chain. Again, because of the tax incentive. Dr. No says, no, we don't do like it because it will cost a tax leak. Yes, temporarily it will cost a tax leak because the transfer of the asset to the corporation will be a tax free reorganization. And, but the dividend, the company is required to declare what 90% of their income every year as dividend. And the recipient will spend that for investing, but the job creation is there. The unlocking of, of uh, locked up assets will be, will be there. And the knock on effect on other industries will be greater. In the end, if you do a plasticity study, in the end, the tax base will widen. Okay. What else? The renewable energy law. Five years after we pass it, and we have achieved two goals environmental and uh, and energy self-sufficiency. You know, renewable energy, wind, uh, solar, uh, hydro, geothermal, biomass. Yeah, lot indigenous, indigenous sources. But because now of the incentive of between them and the OE, they don't implement it. So you see how short-sighted our DOF has been. And that's why we have not expanded our tax base and our tax effort all the past three or four decades. Now, if Deng Xiaoping has the same mentality, he would not have gone out and pointed his people in 1979. Let us make uh, a free trade zone out of Shenzhen and all the coastal cities and open up, and open up our country to investment. And the result is what it is now. China has become the second and largest, biggest economy. And still growing. If they succeed in taking over smart they will even grow bigger because that's the huge gas and oil. 
But you see, the bureaucracy also has a lot to do, not, not, not just the legislators. But second, my second point is, DBM also must prioritize and target, like health. Why could we not prioritize with 263 billion over the next four years for your, for your reform? Why could we not prioritize their primary health care, vaccination, etc.? Then I think half of the cost would, would not be incurred in clinic and hospital improvement. Uh, why could not uh, DOH work to reform field health administratively? Field health all the time has been carrying about a hundred billion in return, and their and their annual payout only is about thirty-five, whereas their surplus in premium collection is about that much too. So that reserve has remained that high, and now it's going up. And how much do they earn? Oh, you have the 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 mathematician when you have. 110 billion of investable funds, and you're only earning five to six billion a year of that. That's not four percent. Can you want what kind of investment uh, strategy are they employing? That means that they are not increasing the, the value of the capital, just that inflation money. Yeah. It has not grown. So that, that, I think, is basic. And again, there's so much tax, not tax, there's so much fraud charged for uh, charge to reimbursement in the field that they have not closed the gap. So just internal, internal, uh, yeah, internal uh, cleanup of field health plus your prioritizing your trust to primary and just improve the hospitals later on, I think we'll go a long way to supporting a universal health coverage which only needed 312 billion on, huh, on an essential package in the for in time. So just by combining their, their efforts together and their thinking together, the OH and still help can ensure the universal health coverage. So you know I'm going to say that.